Disclaimer. This video's information is being provided for informational, educational, and general interest purposes only. The information in this video is not intended to shock, enrage, or otherwise provoke the viewer. The sole purpose of this video was to raise awareness of true crime-related events. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. Nine one one, what's your emergency? Donald Trump at the podium in this new video, you can hear him talking as the gunman, 20-year-old Thomas Crooks, crawls across a roof into position. There he is right there. Right there, see him? He's laying down, see him? Yeah, he's laying down. Several people alert police. Crooks, using his father's rifle, is able to get off several shots. One bullet piercing Trump's ear. Within seconds, Crooks is shot dead by a police sniper. In his car, police found bomb-making material. The shooting now being treated as a possible domestic terror attack. Trump today reflecting on the day he dodged a bullet, telling newspaper reporters... The most incredible thing was that I happened to not only turn, but to turn at the exact right time and in just the right amount. The chances of my making a perfect turn are probably one-tenth of one percent, so I'm not supposed to be here. Trump says he insisted on walking from the podium. I said, I've got to walk out. I have to walk out. I did not want to be carried out. I've seen people being carried out, and it's not good. The failure by police to stop the gunman has caught the president's attention. I've directed an independent review of the national security at yesterday's rally to assess exactly what happened. The FBI is looking into the gunman's motivation. Fellow students say he was bullied and mocked for wearing hunting outfits, but he was such a bad shot he didn't make the school's rifle team. I mean, he would sit alone at lunch. I mean, he was just an outcast. As he was led from the stage, his face bloodied, Donald Trump used the moment to rev up his supporters, fist pumping, shouting fight. There is chaos. One supporter capturing the moment just after several stray bullets struck three people. Avid Trump fan Corey Comparator was killed. The firefighter dived on his family as the shots were fired. Another view from the stands where someone was shot. Medic, over here. Medic. The cries for help drowned out. The former president was still fist pumping when he arrived at Milwaukee today for the Republican convention. His wife Melania stepped back into public life, issuing a heartfelt statement. When I watched that violent bullet strike my husband Donald, I realised my life and Barron's life were on the brink of devastating change. A monster who recognised my husband as an inhumane political machine attempted to wring out Donald's passion. We are also learning more this morning about the gunman in Saturday's violence. We're still waiting for an exact motive, but new details have surfaced now. Fox 13's Regina Gonzalez is on the story for us. Regina, good morning. Good morning, Laura. The FBI and Secret Service do believe right now that 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks acted alone in targeting the former president and said even though he's dead, there are 
investigation is just getting started. Now we've learned that Crooks is from Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, which is about an hour away from where the shooting happened. And that's where we saw investigators search the home he shared with his parents yesterday, later telling us they found bomb making materials in the house he lived in and the car he drove to the rally. They also confirmed the weapon used to shoot at Donald Trump was an AR style rifle purchased by Crooks's father. So they're working to figure out if he took that without permission. Meanwhile, Crooks's his phone has been sent to the FBI's research center in Quantico to determine who he was talking to, what he was reading, and even what he was watching leading up to the attempted assassination. So this is a really, really big deal. It's the first time uh, in the modern era of social media and the internet. So I, I think this redefines everything. Now, Crooks graduated from Bethel Park High School in 2022 as yearbook pictures like this one and older photos surfaced. Former classmates described him as a quiet kid who was bullied and struggled to fit in. Meanwhile, Crooks's political leanings were not immediately clear. Records show he was a registered Republican voter in Pennsylvania, but did give a small donation to a liberal party the day that Biden took office. He was 17 at the time. And according to the Pittsburgh Post, his mother, was a registered Democrat and his father a libertarian. Federal authorities say they're investigating Saturday shooting not just as an attempted assassination, but also a possible act of domestic terrorism. Wow. All right, Regina, thank you.